items. So here we go. We got a light component and there is a thing here called cookie. Um, there's a very simple way to use this, but a short description for what a cookie is from Unity. A cookie is a mask that you can place on a light to create a shadow with a specific shape or color, which changes the appearance and intensity of the light. Cookies are an efficient way of simulating complex lighting effects with minimal or no runtime performance impact. Effects you can simulate with cookies include caustic, soft shadows, and light shapes. Right? That sounds kind of cool. Um, and the way that you use it um, is by simply inputting this texture type that's set to grayscale. Now, you can either make one or you can download them or... In this case, I'm going to show a little bit of both. I have a flashlight cookie that I actually got from a Unity standard assets from 2018 or earlier, I think. And it had these textures inside of it. Um, I'll just directly link to these if you want. Um, it's very easy to import these, though. You just drag them in and you select the texture type to be a cookie rather than default or any other. Um, in this case, I'll set up for spotlight, but if you select point light, it'll work just fine. You can even just set this up as auto, um, and that'll work just fine. But for now, I'll show this with the spotlight because I have a simple character controller that I set up. Um, the most important part, though, of the cookie is the grayscale, um, alpha source all right so that's how you know it'll be a grayscale texture um go back to my flashlight here just drag it right in there should be able to just work right away and let me just show without and the flashlight is there and it's the shape is there but it just creates a, a full bright across the board and doesn't look very realistic for a flashlight so we are going to turn that off and we're going to drag our flashlight cookie texture there you have it all right it's a nice little shape that creates a little bit more realism rather than having it full bright across the board it now has somewhat of a feel that something is casted behind a glass or something all right there's a little bit of a ring of halo around it too that's kind of a nice touch here's another quick example here i have this um kind of cool spotlight here i got this um model i'll link it in the description if you want i'll turn this on and we all know that symbol and um right now it's uh, missing our texture so what I've done is open up uh, Photoshop here and I've created this shape. Um, it's very, very easy to do. Um, in my case, I just had to get the logo and then I've added an auto glow to it to kind of create this uh, soft white glow. If you don't use Photoshop, you can use whatever image software you're comfortable with um, that allows you to just create a black image with white um, fades and stuff like that to so the more of a fade obviously the more your light will have that that shape right so what that will look like if I minimize this and we go back to our bonus light bad light go back into our simulation go turn this and now it has that shape. It simulates the shadow being casted as if the light were behind that mesh, but without having the overhead expense of rendering the actual shadow from the light source. So we could just set the light to not cast any shadows and that would be cheaper for our rendering. And this can apply to even point lights. I will show another example. I have another light here. Oops. Right now 
now it's very plain. Um, I've created a alternative bad cookie um, that has a white interior. So you can see what that white will do. And um, like I said, I added it to auto mapping point light and go back to this light. I'm going to drag in a point light cookie and there you have it. Now there's a shape to our light that we could just rotate, do all sorts of cool stuff. You know, if you're trying to create a disco ball out of bat symbol disco, why not? You can do all that. Very cool stuff. And it's just a simple light, so there's no special casted shadows or any of that. It's just very cool. Uh, just one light from the textures from Unity. And this one will be this nice example that Unity has made themselves. This is the one they displayed on their website. Some sort of uh, squared light that had uh, multiple sections divided. And this can showcase what you could really do to create that sort of light being behind some sort of mesh, but without the expense of rendering the shadows. And again, you can just rotate the light. It becomes an actual shape that you can move around rather than just casting of all directions, in this case, from a point light. Yeah, that's pretty much how you use cookies. Hope that was useful.